I call the math lady. Today we're talking about more on scientific notation. What does that mean? Well, if you remember, scientific notation was helpful to us in helping us write numbers that were really big in a much smaller form. Well, we're going to add to that today. Take a look at this. So let's say I had this nice big number, 870,000. I want to multiply it times 10 to the third. But I don't want to get in the habit of writing all these big numbers. Well, the first thing we learned is that we could take this number and put it in scientific notation and that would help us. So let's do that first. How we did it is, remember, part one was to make this a decimal, find that first whole number, and put the decimal right after it. So we know we're going to have H.7 and figure out how many decimal places you're going to need to move your decimal, which is currently right here, to get to here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So this would be 8.7 times 10 to the fifth. And now we want to do our times 10 to the third. Well, the good news is, if you remember, we talked about some rules of exponents. When we are multiplying these bases of 10 with the exponents, all we have to do is add our exponents. So this is going to be 8.7 times 10 to the eighth. Think about it. If we were going to multiply this by 10 to the third, essentially, essentially we'd be adding three decimal places, right? So this number would, I'm going to write it in red, would be 8, 7, 1, 2, 3, the four zeros that were there, plus three more, one, two, three. So our final number would look like this. And to write that number in scientific notation, we would write 8.7 times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops, 10 to the eight. Oh, I wrote, I wrote it twice. <laughs> I just saw what I did. <laughs> Here we go. 8.7 times 10 to the 8. And look at that. Isn't that the same thing? Isn't it nicer just to be able to add your exponents? So the rule here is turn this into your decimal, make it add your scientific exponents, your scientific notation with the exponents, and add your exponents. How will we tackle this problem? 23,000 times 10 to the sixth power. Remember first, take this first number and turn it into its scientific notation, which would be 2.3 times 10 to the, let's figure out how many spaces we need to move that decimal. One, two, three, four, times 10 to the fourth. Now we can multiply that 10 to the sixth which is going to be 2.3 times 10, add my exponents, 4 plus 6, and I'm going to get 10 to the 10th power. What happens when we have negative exponents? Do we need to change anything? Well, let's take a look. Here we have 63. Let's turn that into its scientific notation. We know it's going to be 6.3 times 10 to the first power. We're going to move that decimal just one place. 10 to the first power times 10 to the negative third power. The rule is add your exponents. 1 plus a negative 3 is going to give me a negative 2. So this will be 6.3 times 10 to the negative 2. And let's just see what that actually looks like. Well, we know that this negative 2 tells us we have to move our decimal place two places to the right. Remember, we're going, excuse me, to the left. We're going to get this number to be smaller. So we're going to write in our 63 and let's move 1, 2. And that's going to be our new answer. What happens if they give it to us in a decimal format? Same thing applies. Put it into its scientific notation form. 0 0.032. We know that's the same thing as saying 3.2 times 1, 2. We're going to move our decimal places two places to the right, which means it's going to be 10 to the negative 2. And now multiply that 10 to the fifth. Okay, down here, we bring it all together. 3.2 times 10 to the, add the exponents, negative 2 
plus a five gives me a positive three. 10 to the third. So the same rules apply. Take that first number, put it in its scientific notation, and then add the exponents for the powers of 10. You follow those rules, you'll be fine every time. Okay, that's it for me. Definitely try these practice problems because you have to make sure you know which way are you going, left or right, with that decimal point. Okay, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.